Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be sharing the cards I made using Spellbinder's May 2023 Card Kit of the Month. The theme is Spreading Happiness. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit is still available and I do have links provided in the description box below. Spellbinders offers a wide variety of fun club kits. Their quick and easy card kit is just one of them. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I've selected two pattern papers, a lovely pink paper with tiny white X's and a few gold foil X's. I'll layer that on some dark blue cardstock, and this is cardstock that's included in the kit. I'm adding a two and a half inch panel of this beautiful floral paper, and I'll also layer it on the same dark blue cardstock. Put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll add a bright pink label die cut, and this is from Spellbinders label set number 17. I'll put glue on the back and adhere it toward the upper portion of the card. For a sentiment, I'm using one of the puffy sticker sentiments, You Are Loved. I still have the sentiment on the plastic backing, and to keep it in the same position, I'm adding a strip of Spellbinders best ever craft tape over it and this will hold those stickers in place. The puffy stickers do have adhesive on the back, but I'm also adding a little bit of glue just to make sure they stay in place. Sometimes the adhesive isn't very strong on the puffy stickers. I'll first adhere the word loved. After adhering the sentiment down, I will need to remove the inside portion on some of those letters. I'm using a craft piercing tool and gently pulling those pieces out. When removing the tape, I'm doing it slowly, making sure the letters aren't peeling up. Then I'll use my piercing tool and pull out the rest of the inside portion on the letters. And since I made sure not to put any glue on the back of those areas, they pop out easily. After I have the word love all adhered, I'll next add the word R. Put just that tiny bit of glue on the back and adhere it above the word loved. And I'll do the same thing, removing the inside of the letter E. Then I'll add the final word U, and it's in two pieces. The Y is separate from the OU. After adding a tiny bit of glue on the back side, I'll adhere the word U above the R loved. Then I'll use my piercing tool to pull out the inside of the letter O. On the right side of the sentiment, I'm adding one of the floral ephemera pieces, this beautiful bouquet of three yellow flowers. It matches the pattern on the floral paper. I'll also add a sweet little butterfly, and I did pop up that piece using some thin foam dimension. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. The other card features different pattern paper, sentiment, and ephemera. Now moving on to card design number two. One of my favorite pattern papers from the whole kit is this tree pattern paper. I love the colors. I use a stitched curved border die to cut the left side, added a narrow strip of the orange and pink plaid paper on the left. I'm layering everything on some dark brown cardstock, and this is cardstock from my stash. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a couple of stitch circle die cuts. One I cut out from some of the green tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper, and the larger white circle I use some white shimmer cardstock. I'll adhere both of those down using some glue. The card kit doesn't include any dies or stamps, but I will be bringing in one of Spellbinder's stamp sets called Fill My Heart Sentiments. It has a great assortment of sentiments that you can use year-round. I stamped out Happy Birthday on some white cardstock, cut a fishtail on the left side, and I'll layer the sentiment piece on the same dark brown cardstock. I adhered it underneath the two circle die cuts. Now I'll add several different image die cut pieces. I have this sweet little bird, same peach color as the pattern paper, couple of floral pieces, and also two small gold foil hearts. I'll add the floral pieces down first, put the bird on top, 
and the two hearts right above the little bird. From a scrap piece of the dark brown cardstock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper right hand corner. Then for a final finishing touch, I'm using some Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the mini circle style in the gold color. I'll put three around the sentiment. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. The second card features the same pattern paper I used on the very first card in this video. The leftover pieces were the perfect size to use with this card design. For card design number three, I will be using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from MFT, it's number 644. For the background of the card, I'm using white cardstock, and this is from one of the card bases that's included in the kit. I cut it out using a stitched rectangle die. Toward the bottom of that panel, I'm adding some Love From Lizzie peel offs, this beautiful pink color that has silver overlay on it. I use the widest and the medium width. I'll wrap the ends around the back, put adhesive on the back of this white piece. I'm using ATG tape and also some glue along that stitched edge. And I'll layer it on some green cardstock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. I selected three pattern papers that coordinate together. I cut them out using stitch circle die cuts in three different sizes. I'll adhere the smallest circle down first, then the medium circle, and the largest circle with the beautiful flowers will be featured in front. For a sentiment, I stamped out Thinking of You, and this is from the same Fill My Heart sentiment stamp set. I stamped it on some light green cardstock, and the light green color is included in the kit. On the back side of this sentiment, I'm adding a piece of the double sided adhesive tape. Then I'll bring in three of the image die cut pieces and adhere them right behind the sentiment. I'll add the pink berries in the middle and the two green foliage pieces on the right and left side. Then I'll use my scissors and trim off the bottom portion of the die cut pieces. I'll add some thin foam dimension on the back side, making sure to get good coverage. So I am cutting some tiny little pieces to put behind the top area of the foliage. I'll remove the release paper and adhere the sentiment with the images on the left side of the card, sitting partly on top of that large floral circle. To finish off the card, I'll add some more Love From Lizzie peel offs. This is the mini circle style in the silver mirror color. I'm adding the smallest size circles underneath the sentiment. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. For card design number four, the card sketch is from Cards TV. This is sketch number 16. And this is my favorite set of cards. I love the pattern paper. I have some light peach pattern paper and also this adorable design with little frogs and dragonflies. I cut them at an angle so they'll match up together, layer them on some dark green cardstock. And this is cardstock from my stash. Next I'll add a Love From Lizzie peel off between the two pattern papers. I believe this is the mink color and it has gold overlay. I'll wrap the end around the back. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a stitched oval die cut. And the white cardstock is from one of the card bases that's included in the kit. I have the linen texture side showing. I'll adhere that down using some glue. And now I'll bring in several of the die cut pieces. I have a couple of lily pads, two adorable little frogs, and some dragonflies. I do have foam dimension on the back of the dragonflies and the frogs. I'll adhere the lily pads down first so the frogs can sit right on top and add the dragonflies in the upper left hand corner. The sentiment is one of the puffy stickers, always better together. Before adhering it down, I did put a scrap piece of cardstock on the very right side where it goes off of the stitched oval die cut. Then I'll add glue on the back side and adhere the sentiment underneath the two frogs. For embellishments, I'll add more of the mini circle peel offs in gold, put three of them around the sentiment. 
Then for a final finishing touch, I'm using a clear glitter brush and adding a little bit of sparkle to the dragonfly's wings and the frog's rosy cheeks. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. The second card features the opposite order of the pattern paper with the frogs on top and the peach color on the bottom. I already had those papers cut, so I figured I may as well make a second card. For card design number five, the card sketch is from Sketch Saturday. This is number 724. I have two different pattern papers, a narrow strip of a green tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper, and I'll add that toward the bottom. And on the top, I have this fun sky filled with clouds and kites. I'll add both of those on some green cardstock, put some ATG tape on the back, and add my card front onto a card base. Toward the bottom of the card, I'm adding a panel of white cardstock. At the very top of that panel, I put a Love From Lizzie peel-off in the silver holographic color. This is the widest width. I love the holographic peel-offs. They're super sparkly. I'll wrap the end around the back and adhere the white strip toward the bottom of the card. Now I'll bring in some of the die-cut images. I have some trees and also a little neighborhood with houses and trees. I'll put the trees down on the left side of the card and the houses on the right. At the very bottom of that panel, I'm adding a grass border die cut. And I did put some double-sided foam tape on the back side. I did cut it slightly longer than my card, so I simply flipped over the card, used my scissors, and trimmed off the extra. I'm adding the sentiment thinking of you and I'm stamping it directly onto the card. So I am using my mini Misty. I already have this stamp set up. I'm inking it up using Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. Using the same green cardstock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper left hand corner. Then for a final finishing touch, I'm adding some more silver holographic peel offs, this time in the mini circle style. I'll put three of them above the sentiment on the right side of the card. The card kit includes two sheets of chipboard images and sentiments. One of the trees was the perfect size to fit with this card scene. I put some glue on the back just to make sure it'll stay in place and adhered it on the left side of the card. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. Now moving on to card design number six. The card sketch is from OWH. This is number 159. For pattern paper, I'm using this beautiful design that's covered with little tiny polka dots and lots and lots of dragonflies. At the bottom of the panel, I'll add some Love From Lizzie peel-offs. This is the jade glitter color in the pinstripe style. Since the glitter peel-offs are slightly thicker, I am trimming the very end instead of wrapping them around the back. I'll layer this piece on some of the pink cardstock that's included in the card kit, and again on some dark blue cardstock. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. Instead of adding a circle as indicated on the card sketch, I'm adding this fun label die cut. When I'm prepping my cards, sometimes I change my mind and I end up with all these extra die cut pieces. I tossed them in a little bin since I know I'll use them another time. I was digging through that bin and found this fun shape. It's from Pretty Pink Posh. At the moment, I can't remember the name of the set, but I will have it linked in the description box. And I did use some white shimmer cardstock for the label die cut piece. I'll adhere it down using some glue. Now I'll add some of the die cut images. I have a floral image, a couple of blue leafy branches, and a sweet little bird. I'll add the branches down first, and I did trim off the very bottom since they're a little longer than I wanted on this card. On the back of the bird and also the floral arrangement, I did add some foam dimension. I'll remove the release paper, add that floral image down first, and the bird will sit right underneath. For a sentiment, I stamped out hello. This is from the Fill My Heart sentiment set. I'll put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back of the sentiment and adhere it underneath the floral image. 
Then I'll put foam dimension on the back of the bird and adhere the bird on the left side of the sentiment and right underneath the floral arrangement. Using this same dark blue cardstock, I'll cut a small banner and adhere it in the upper left hand corner. Then for a final finishing touch, I'll add some Spellbinders gem stickers. This is the Spectrum AB color. Put three around the sentiment and two in the upper left hand corner on the small banner. I also decided to add a little bit of sparkle to the bird and some of the flowers. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. The second card features the same design, just different pattern paper and ephemera. The card kit this month includes quite a few floral designs, perfect for springtime. Now here's another look at the 12 cards I made using Spellbinders May 2023 Quick and Easy Card Kit of the Month. The theme is Spreading Happiness. If you are interested in subscribing to any of Spellbinders Club Kits, I do have links provided in the description box below. In order to receive the kit I showed in this video, you do need to subscribe by May 27th. This is a monthly kit, so quantities are always limited. The only way to guarantee receiving a kit is to sign up and subscribe. If there are any kits left over from the previous month, Spellbinders will sell those individually without a subscription. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.